Hey, it's Tab from FreeFly, and today I'm going to show you how to install our counterweight system with an iPhone 10 and a Moment 18 millimeter wide lens and get it all balanced and ready to shoot. For the first step, we're going to install the counterweight on the Movi, and we'll use the two 3 millimeter thumb screws to attach it to the tilt motor. So you're going to want to get those screws lined up. I usually start the top one and then start the bottom one so it's attached loosely. And then we'll just torque these down by finger until they're pretty tight. And then I know we're using the iPhone 10 for this setup, so I'm going to add the large. Uh, we ship with a, a large, a medium, and a small weight, and I'm going to use the large weight for the iPhone 10. So I'm going to insert that, and then I'm going to tighten this up just enough so that the weight is held, but I can still adjust its fore aft position. So I can slide it pretty easily, but I know it's not going to fall out right now. Okay. So now I'll add the top one, and I'll loosely tighten that up so I can still slide it, but it's definitely secure. So now we've got both weights installed, and we're ready to install the phone and start fine tuning. So I'm going to loosen this thumb screw up, I'm going to get it to where it's just tight enough that I can, I can move this if I want to, but it'll stay where I leave it. And I'm going to set up the bottom one to a similar level of tightness. Okay, that's good. So I can move it, but it stays where I leave it. So now I'm going to grab the iPhone, and I've got an iPhone 10 with 18 millimeter moment wide. Remove the lens cap, and I'm going to install that and I'm going to slide it all the way down until it touches the counterweight. Oh, turn it on. And now we're first going to balance left to right. So you can see when I let go, it wants to tip to the left and it wants to flip that way. So I'm going to shove that top guy forward just a touch to try and get the fore aft balance a little bit better. And now I'm going to start moving these guys to get it a little bit closer. So one thing you'll notice, if you were to draw a line through the middle of this, because the lens is above that, we're going to need more weight below that to get the balance correct in this axis. So I know that this one, the bottom weight is going to end up down further, and then this one is going to end up lower down so that it's not exa exacerbating the imbalance caused by the lens. So you can see we're getting close on the left to right balance. Just slowly tweaking this until, okay, so there it's pretty good. Um, I've let my hands off and it's staying. You know, we're pretty close on left to right balance. But now we need to check the balance on the tilt vertical axis. And the easiest way to do that is to grab the unit and pick it up and go this way. Oh, so you can see we're actually pretty close right off the bat. But just to show you what you would do, let's pretend that I had slid this weight all the way back that way. And then we tipped this way. You can see it no longer wants to stay. Take this guy up, it's rubbing on the tilt motor just a little bit. So you can see now in the tilt axis it wants to rotate, but if I take this weight and shove it forward, okay, it's getting better, it's getting better, it's getting better, we're really close. Okay, we're good. So you can see right now, it's balanced from left to right. And then it's also balanced this way. It's really, really close. So the one axis that it's not balanced in, you can see, is pan. So when I go like this and let go, it wants to swing pretty violently that way. And the reason why is we've added all this extra weight so now the pan axis is out of balance. So in order to fix that, 
I'm going to add the pan counterweight. It goes right around the pan arm, and I push them all the way up underneath the roll motor. And then just cinch him down with this little thumb screw. And you'll notice now with the iPhone 10 in the moment wide, when I go like this, we're very close to balanced in pan axis. It's a very, very good balance. So you can see it wants to stay, whereas before it didn't. And the, the motors and bearings on the Movi are very, very, very friction free. So even though it is moving a little bit in all these axes, we're really, really close to being perfectly balanced. So now at this point, you know, I would say this is well enough balanced that I would be happy shooting with it. So I'm gonna go back and really cinch down on these so that I know that these positions won't move by accident in case I bump into something or jostle the Movi. And then one thing I wanna to touch on, we include extra weights so that you can customize for your specific phone. So let's say you had a phone, an iPhone 8 Plus, and you needed a little bit more weight. You can take these extra weights that we've provided and you can just attach them with the three millimeter screw and they just bolt right onto the other weight and effectively increase the amount of weight that you can add to the Movi substantially. And then additionally, if you end up in a condition where because you've added more weight, now your pan won't balance, we've designed the pan accessory in the same way such that you can add these smaller weights there using the shorter screws to fine tune the pan balance. But I think the important thing to keep in mind is the better we can get the balance, the better our footage will look from a stabilization perspective. So it can be a little bit fiddly to figure out how to balance this thing at first. One important thing to remember is if you have more weight above the center line because of the lens, you're gonna end up with this, this weight kicked down a little bit to offset that high weight. And then this one's gonna, the bottom weight is gonna end up pointed kind of straight down or lower. Because what we want is the middle of the tilt axis, we want the weight above that and below that to be equal so that it's totally balanced. And then just a final check, you wanna be able to put the Movi in just about any position and have it stay there. If that's true, you're very, very close to perfect balance and your footage is gonna look great. All right, so now we've got the counterweight installed and we need to move on to tuning the robot. You've got two choices. You can just use the plus setting because of the added mass of the counterweight system, plus will work better than normal. Or we can go into custom tuning and do an auto tune. The auto tune percentage that you'll use will vary on your specific setup, but we settle usually between somewhere between 30 and 40%. So I'm gonna do this one at 35% and then you hit auto-tune. You'll hear the Movi start to make a slight rumbling noise as it derives the best tuning for each axis. About 10 seconds later, it's done tuning. All right, I'm gonna exit out of this screen, get back to the main screen, pick it up, feels good. We're ready to shoot.